Welcome to JW Solo USA Command Center in Minnesota. Guys, like I was telling you guys, this project here has some devices. Like I was telling you guys, the devices and components are all coming in for this install. The MPP Solar Peep 6048MT. And this is what I've set up here. And thanks to my viewer, um, he was telling me this stuff supposed to be able to separate the positive and negative on the manual. I didn't see that. And we have that over there. And here, so I mounted the rails. Make sure, see if um, our design is going to work that way. So I make some MC4 connectors here. I don't know if I put them right. Maybe I get them a reverse. Let's check the box and see what it is. Now we are back here with the uh, uh, PV disconnects and all the cool gadgets here at the GW Solo USA. Um, I would like to show you guys, share with you guys what I've ordered. And these are uh, PV array disconnects. And these are huge, massive. So let's go back here. And let's move this guy backwards. You got some of the stuff here. Well, these are commercial grade, believe it or not. And um, we are dealing with here at the command center of the JW Solo USA. And we want to make this build a real and robust and fantastic, good looking. So this is what we have here. I think it's a L E A B E R. So here goes the, uh, I think I had it backwards on the <laughs> install there. So this one is a big boy. This carry a 32 amp input. You can see that here. Up to about 1500 volt, which is uh, equivalent to 8 kV so see that 32 amps so it has its own disconnect here put them side by side you can see what I'm talking about here or what we're dealing with here so I'm so excited with this uh, 1.0 uh, project because we have to deal with some um, new stuff there you go you can see clicking it's kind of tough and here we go IP 66 NW so it's a box you can have a side knockout and the sad side I think you can mount this a uh, Dean Real they have some I don't know little sketchy stuff here I think that's what you do right there and here or you can mount it on the wall mount the two things here these sides let's see sorry about my lighting here and uh, side you can able to see both boxes um, so this one goes like this this one right there and this one goes right there so I give you the leverage of hanging or suspending this thing on the wall. So you put a 
a screw, a screw down here. You fasten it. So you cannot mount this right there. So let's take a look and see how things work. Here is the box. I think I made a reverse wire in here. Um, how would I put an MC4 connector, which is a male coming for positive and negative supposed to be a female. This one's supposed to be on this. So I did some kind of reverse um, install. So if I decided to go take this one, this negative here to the positive, then I think it's gonna mess up with the uh, the way this box is set up. So I didn't even see any screws how to go about and open this guy here but I have to change the MC4 connector I had it first <laughs> for some reason well I installed this one this one I have one of them that was um, a wire that I cut because it goes to a breaker you know we don't need MC4 connectors but I was gonna do this thing as simple as possible uh, possible because I wasn't sure that these boxes will be here on time so I already uh, made up my mind to go about put an MC4 connector which I can able to run um, the polarity anyhow on the PV cable. Stay tuned. With the PV cable application, you can able to change like polarity or you can able to uh, manage this in different ways. I can able to use, see right this, go right there. So this would have been the, po the positive while I end up putting the MC4 on the wrong one. How would I use the mail comes to this so now um, I can because see the, the positive it has both ends okay it's still positive I can still able to utilize this one for this application right here so it's just a matter of uh, plugging this other guy here so I use the backwards I can plug this guy to this and I can plug this other guy here of this black wire to the other. So I took a different turn. So what we're gonna do now is still correct here since I have both male and female on the positive wire and I can able to go supposed to be like this coming from the inverter it goes coming from the inverter this one goes here and um the negative the negative coming from the inverter goes here see so we already have our polarity correct this thing can only stay still and this part this part after this one comes to from the inverter plugs in here which is this one and the input right here is gonna say positive positive one negative one okay I think we're right so this is the negative the negative minus one and minus one here say so go this way so the positive we were still right positive one it's gonna enter here so if we have to interchange Let's see. Did 
The other component I have here is for the rails. So these are brackets that you can able to um, uh, join together. If you want to join two uh, solar rails, you can just go and slide it to the groove right here, to the groove right here. And uh, you slide it, and after that, you just, just put the, the screw right here. Then that's how they attach. Just like this on the rail. Then you slide the, the thing right here. So that's how you interconnect them to make the rails become longer. So um, I have some rail, um, I think it's an 18 foot long so 18 foot of these uh, rails if they are not enough with the nine panels that I'm gonna be installing so I have to put this on each rail the top one so I gotta go like uh, two rails so I think it's 18 foot by 18 foot so the bottom one's gonna be another 18 so this is how we interconnect them you slide on the groove right here where the uh, the guys come in for the mid um, end clamp or mid clamp that groove that the the rail has so this is the thing the, the connection I was gonna buy more of these but it's only two um, I got from the vendor all right so these are just extensions adapt like adapter extensions you can use to extend your rails so they can have you know if you're running a 20 foot then you only have an 18 foot rail then you can just insert this one in between the rails then you just put the screws right here and tap to the rails that extend to how many feet you want so these are the stuff for that okay so just want to let you know um, the project is going well and it's expensive projects but it's getting there thanks for watching love you guys JW Solar USA, it's aluminum. Like and subscribe. Subscribe.